Hi guys, recently I found an amazing brain fuck resource and this is it. It's a uh, Daniel Christofani's pages related to brain fuck programming language. And here are lots of brain fuck programs by Daniel and th some of them are really complex. And this man is a winner of numerous brain fuck contests and code goals as well. So, like, you know, this is the man whose code showed me the real beauty of brain fuck. And before ever facing these materials, I thought that brain fuck is just a joke language and you couldn't really write anything useful with it. But after exploring these materials, I've changed my mind completely. And today I'd like to share with you, like, a kind of my own understanding of a short self-interpreter, a brain fog interpreter written, written in brain fog by Daniel Christofani. And this paper actually explains the code for that brain fog interpreter. And the code of the entire interpreter is this. So, you know, if you would count the number of instructions here that it would be probably shorter than the code for the brain fuck interpreter well say in C well it's probably going to be shorter in bytes for sure and believe it or not this piece of code makes a workable brain fuck interpreter written in brain fuck and one of the main reasons for doing this is it's not just for fun but let me just try to explain the the reason of doing this well when you have the normal brain fog interpreter then the code segment and i'm by saying the code segment i mean say this is the file yeah so to execute this file uh, we have to upload this instructions to one array which is a source code array and the brain fuck data array is another at least 30,000 bytes long uh, array so this means that in the classical brain fuck implementations we have no like opportunities to move the instruction pointer otherwise but using this loop commands. That means that in the classical brain fog implementation we can't actually implement the function calls and the recursion function calls either. But in the DBFI or Daniel's brain fog interpreter in this one we actually can implement the recursion and the function calls in general. You will ask why. I'll tell you why. That's because we use a single data array of the classical brain fog to store both the input, the user input, the program in brain fog, and also the data for that program. So if, say, we are somewhere in the cell, say, cell 10 of the emulated data or the emulated data array and we do something there then we can actually uh, go move the real pointer uh, far left to the particular instruction say say over here and execute some sequences of instructions uh, like several times and this is the way to emulate the behavior of function calls of course, in order to uh, make this, we will have to store the location of the pointer to go and then the location to go back, so the stack implementation is needed also, but that's just the details and that's not really important at the moment. But uh, just let me tell the main thing one more time, that the main thing here is that the code segment and the data segment are located in exactly the same array and by shifting the pointer we could either go to the needed 
emulated data cell or to the needed emulated instruction or move the emulated or simulated instruction pointer so these two the simulated instruction pointer and the simulated data pointer are the basic elements of the dbfi of this brainfuck interpreter written in brainfuck and you know i've read this uh, paper for about a week and still i can understand this only in general but it, it took me actually several days just to get the very basic design ideas uh, involved in here and you know if you're not if you don't have a programming background it would be probably too difficult to understand what's going on here even though the brain fuck is a very simple language itself consisting only of eight commands so that's the reason for making this video and this video is made to cover this commented source code so what I've done is I've taken the source code from of DBFI the brainfuck interpreter written in brainfuck by Daniel Cristofani and I've commented this uh, from the one hand to my own understanding of what I can see is going on here but mostly of course relying on the information presented in the paper in this one so the instructions are separated in some groups and then the descriptions or the commentaries basically these are the commentaries are followed by uh, these instructions so uh, I've made uh, this sort of file uh, to, to make it more readable or understandable I don't know and let me briefly explain how this interpreter works uh, before that I must say that uh, I don't really understand myself in the great details of how it actually works uh, and believe me it's w when we dive a little bit deeper into this code you would see what a beautiful things could be constructed in brain fog. and this is just amazing it's it's just like a kind of magic I don't know I'm so excited and uh, I just have no words to e explain what exactly I feel when I see this well so this is it for this for this video and the next video we're going to cover of how is the brain fuck interpreter written in brain fuck is actually implemented